Hey everybody, John with OWL, and I am sitting in our conference room, so I apologize for the echo. I wanna get away from the rest of the office, it's a little bit loud. Today I wanna to talk through billet, machined parts, and that's because we have just released our transit tire carrier, and we have other machined parts that we currently sell. I think they're gorgeous. This is our wheel spacer, and unfortunately, once it's on, you don't really see it unless you pop out your center wheel cap, but absolutely beautiful piece of uh, machine, not machinery, uh, product. Anyway, uh, machining is a completely different process than the way you make other parts. So I wanted to walk through exactly what goes into machining one of these brand new brackets that we use for the transit ladder. Now this bracket is incredibly strong and that's one of the advantages of a machined part versus a part that is like laser cut and bent. This is an example of what a laser cut and bent part looks like. Now, these can be quite functional, but they're not nearly as strong as a billet part. Also, cost difference. This part probably cost me a few dollars and then there's a few bucks to powder coat it. This one, close to my cost, close to $40 per bracket just for this part. So, adding these to a ladder tire is an additional, you know, call it 80 some odd, maybe more dollars once you anodize it, of our cost in the product. So uh, I wanted to walk you through why we make these decisions, especially when it impacts the price of a product. So uh, we're gonna move this little owl, which by the way, weighs seven uh, ounces, seven ounces. So if you wanted to know how much the owl weighs, it's seven ounces. So this is cool. The way this part starts its life is as a flat piece of steel. That flat piece of steel is then cut with a very expensive laser, and then it is bent on what's called a press break. It's basically a large machine that comes down and it hits the part and it's got two dies. It's got usually um, a male die and a female die, and it comes down and it bends the part around it. Um, not my terms, by the way, those are industry terms. So, uh, Machine parts and how are they different? Well, they start out with this block and I wish you could feel this block. This block of aluminum is 72 ounces. So if we change the mode here, so in pounds, that's four and a half pounds. I know four and a half pounds doesn't sound like much, but when you pick this up, it is really shocking. It's like a five pound dumbbell. So this block and aluminum, not a cheap material. So that block then gets machined down. You can see part of that block is still remaining here. So what happens is, as I wanna say it was maybe like Leonardo da Vinci said, uh, every statue is just there. All you need to do is remove all the material around it. Well, uh, I think obviously that's an artistic joke, but the same is true of billet parts. This part, is in here. All you have to do is remove all the material around it. So what happens is you have a uh, CNC machine, which is basically a computer controlled router like you would use on wood. And it comes down on this and it starts uh, making passes. And each time it goes a little deeper and it has different axes, which means it can machine on the side, it can drill straight down. And eventually you machine this block all the way down into something like this, and then you continue further and you get down into this. Now this, compared to the other, weighs 0.3 of a pound. This thing, incredibly light. So, 0.3 of a pound from four and a half pounds of aluminum. All the material that we take away gets thrown away. So that's all waste. So not only is it the cost of the material that's high, then you have to use uh, machines, which are hundreds of thousands of dollars. I think we have probably about half a million dollars into our CNC that does this. And then you have the time it takes to run that machine. Uh, so all of those things to get one part. And that's why this part, as I said, costs about 40 bucks. And a part like this, has a little bit of time on the laser and then it gets bent. So this is a few bucks 
uh, for a part like this. So the reason I go through that is owl stuff is more expensive. It's a lot more expensive than, or at least um, it should be, than a lot of the uh, competitive stuff out there because it costs us a lot to make. And uh, I see folks online looking at products and saying, oh, this is similar to owl, but um, they end up costing the same. And, and this is where the differentiator is, parts like this versus parts like this. And uh, one is gonna be much stronger and last much longer and be much lighter. The entire owl ladder tire for transit comes in at 21 pounds. That's, uh, I think it's 12 pounds lighter than our nearest competitor. So um, all of this work that we do means something, at least it means something to me. And hopefully this video has brought to light uh, the difference between a machined part and a uh, laser cut and bent part. Now there are times when you wanna use both, but at least now you understand the process that goes into this. Hopefully you found this video interesting. Uh, if not, sorry. <laughs>